It ain't pretty, but this one fits your budget. Ugh, are Hyperion costumes necessary? Fiona will fit right in with her spiffy new duds, but Sash, you look about as low down Pandoran as they come. No offense, but if you want to be arrested within 10 seconds, be my guest. Hey, here's your disguise allowance. Don't think it'll be a regular thing or nothing. Get yourself something or get Sasha something nicer so she'll quit whining. Don't care either way. Just don't look Pandoran or this mission will be over before it even started. So, what are you gonna get, sis? Alright, let's see what we're working with. Hey, Fiona, the, uh, <clears throat> pricier option ain't too shabby. Plus, I kinda want you to spend all of August's money. Hey! Or whatever, just pick something that says, I look like a stuck-up jerk. Yeah, <laughs> that'll work. All right, thanks, Fee. I'll try it on in a bit. Hope it's worth the cash. Could have bought a lot of guns with that. You're up, Saj. Make it quick. Huh, not bad. Makes me feel like I could drink the tears of a million dream-crushed orphans. I'll fit right in at Hyperion. <coughs> you almost finished with that? Yep, I'm done. I'm not even gonna ask. Yeah, it's probably better that way. Hey, is this disguise gonna work? I figure you're the one with the eye for this. You and Vaughn are the only Hyperion I know, and you dress terrible, so... Maybe I should just take my chances. It suits you. Is that a pun? Oh, no. <laughs> that is hilarious. I get it. Um, I'm just saying that it looks very convincing. It's a, it's a good look for you. Thanks. But I'm gonna be burning these clothes once this is over. Naturally. Anyway, it's all yours. Thanks. Just gotta scan my severed face here. Yeah. Have fun with that. Just get to the scan screen and... Please scan skin. Oh, there we go. Okay, skin scan. Oh, God. Oh, God. Much worse from this side. Oh. Skin unlocked. Convincing. Is it? Yeah, I mean, you look like a complete douchebag. Excellent. That is the look I was going for. This is... Oh, definitely weird. Well, it's certainly... Big. <sighs> That's Scooter for you. I hope Vaughn's all right. I'm sure Cassius is looking out for him. We'll track them down when we get back.
V, you gotta see this. Hey, you look like you've done that. Like you've done that before. I know it's where we're from, but... It's never felt like home to me. I... I didn't think I'd ever see this. Guess you kept your promise. I always do. At least, with you. It looks so... I don't... Peaceful. It's beautiful from up here. From up here? Sure. It's a shame we have to go back. Wish we could just turn this thing towards the nearest planet. We'd probably run out of fuel, so it's not a good idea, but... One day we won't have to. We'll be able to pick whichever planet we want. <laughs> I can't wait. Ugh, I keep forgetting they're here. Once we get the beacon, we'll figure out a way to turn things back in our favor. Any ideas on how exactly we do that? Or are we just winging it? Again. I know we're good at improvising, but... We get the beacon and we hold it ransom. It's the only piece of leverage we've got with Valerie. I suppose you're right. Hey, watch it. Oh, sorry, man. Just got a wife for me is all. It ain't bleeding or nothing. What the hell is this damn thing? It's, uh... Well, it's a satellite. Gonna launch it to, to advertise my franchise. You know what they say? Ain't no ad space like outer space. Of all the brands, you pick the one Hyperion hates. We're not drawing more attention to ourselves for some publicity stunt. Hey, there's no Whoa! need for that! Stop it! Come on, man! I gotta get some out of this trip! You won't be alive to collect it if we get blown into dust. Calm down. We're not launching a doll satellite near Helios. Obviously, Scooter was just kidding, right? <laughs> so something like that. Happy? As a clam. What does that even mean? No idea. Warning. Brief collision imminent. <laughs> Is that a... person? Uh-oh. Looks like someone else isn't feeling well. Henderson. Impact detected on center rocket booster. No shit! Tell us something we don't know. Did you know? So this is how I die. I knew it. I knew it! Is it something you can fix? Regrettably, not in my current state. The damage is too severe. This ship requires additional thrust. Right! Without additional thrust, the ship will be pulled back towards Pandora. Look, y'all, we need to do some compensating right here, and y'all are in luck, because that's my specialty! Now turn them other rockets up to 11! Oh yeah! Feel the burn! Oh man, I got like 50 lines I want to say about full thrust. It's like a, a joke log jam in my fright. There are things coming off the thing! That's normal. This is normal? Yeah, we're running like real hot right now. Getting like crazy hot. But we gotta do it. Listen, it's our only shot. Okay, we're about to hit escape velocity, and when we do, you gotta shut these puppies down, you hear? Yeah, yeah, I hear. Do you? How can you hear anything? Achieving escape velocity in five, four, three, two, one. Go! <laughs> So, then, why are the alarms still going? Nah, that was just step one. We can't do step two without step one. Booster of rocket failure imminent. What does that mean? They're going to explode. Step one. 
step two, let's do this! Uh, when are they gonna explode? Very soon. What's step two? We get out there and we handle these uncooperative rockets. Oh, right. Step three is us making out. What? Huh? What? Huh? Uh, don't you worry your pretty little yeah, all of it death but yourself by I'll be walking you through it though. One, right? No. Guess my arms aren't quite as long as I thought. Guys, that rocket's at critical. You gotta hurry. No conversating on this one. No. No, I, I can pull you out. Listen, there ain't nothing you can do that I ain't already tried, okay? This can't be happening. Uh, what's going on out there? Nothing. Don't you worry. Fiona's got this. Hey. Hey. You gotta go over there, pull that latch, and cut this rocket loose. There's no time for anything else, you understand? No, stop, okay? There's gotta be some other way out of this. No, there ain't. Even if there was, there's no time. This baby's gonna blow, okay? That is happening. And you can't be here when it does. Now 
Now, don't you go feeling all sorry for me, all right? People on Pandora will be talking about an old scooter for a long time. Can't think of a more epic way to go. Y'all should be so lucky. I wish... I wish we had more time together. You know, I was thinking the same thing. Right Rocket is way past critical, guys! Ah, uh, now go on. I gotta catch a ride. All right, y'all. It's probably the end, but you see Moxie or Ellie, you tell him I did some awesome shit, okay? It's been real. Catch a ride! That was the first casualty of the mission. So, what did you do next? What did we do? We honored him as best we could. I know I said we wouldn't, but we owe it to him. Make it something good. It's the least we can do. I know what it is like to lose someone you care about. The worst part is... Scooter was the best of us. He deserves so much better. He was definitely one of the nicest people I met on Pandora. Although that's not probably saying much. Anyway, we didn't have much time to mourn and all that. Things started to get crazy the minute we landed on Helios. So, um, if that's not it, uh, I'm answering. Perfect. You have entered Hyperion airspace. Identify yourselves immediately. Okay, gang. There we go. I repeat, identify yourselves or you will be shot down. Do not come any closer. It's Hugo Vasquez. I'm back. Hugo, huh? I guess we should roll out the red carpet. Uh, for starters, yeah, I'd also like some bubbly chillin' in my office, just, uh, not too cold, mind you. How about a warm bucket of piss? <laughs> You're lucky good old Hugo has a sense of humor.
after I get inside and disable security, I'll call you when it's safe to come out. Time to put on the game face. You've got some things to answer for. Vasquez. Almost seems like, uh... What's the word? Providence? Sup, ladies. What you been doing? Talking about boys. Nope. Just discussing casual misogynism and how it manifests in corporate executives. Oh. Yeah, well... <laughs> Just getting around. And boys. Captain's brother is finally marrying his boyfriend. This is the happiest I've ever been. Orders are to verify what the hell you were doing down on Pandora. Ah, take it easy, guys. I just landed. In a hunk of Pandoran trash, no less. With half a loader bot stuck to the top. All right. And what's that thing you jettison say? Hero something? Yep. Look like a doll satellite. You know what we do to doll crap up here. The same thing we're gonna do to your face when we find out what you are up to on Pandora. So, what were you doing down there? Not too often the top brass venture to that dirt pile. Yeah, you know, huge. Tracking down ten million dollars that was stolen from Hyperion. So where's the money? It, uh, exploded. Uh-huh. Yeah, but I got, you know, very important places to be, so I'll just be on my way. Nah. Nah. What do you mean, nah? Here's how it is. You come up here full of piss and bullets, bragging about how you managed to lose ten million dollars. So no, you're not going anywhere. I'll take it from here. Bad. So good to see you. We need to catch up. Bring it in for testing. What the hell happened to Reese? This is unbelievable. Could we talk somewhere that's less exposed? We're fine right here. I'd like to shed more light on the situation. The situation is that you brought Reese back in pieces. Our deal was clear. You were supposed to retrieve his head so management could download whatever the hell was inside of there that was so damn valuable. Now we'll never collect the reward. Cause you lost a critical Hyperion asset. I'm sure we went over the particulars, but can you remind me what's in Reese's head that's so You're valuable? kidding me. And all the excitement on Pandora, it must have slipped my mind. I guess our reward slipped your mind, too. You had one job, and, well, you blew it. I'm taking you straight to management. Let's see how you like answering to them. I've had it with you. Let's see how big of a smartass you are under questioning. Fine, I'm sure they'll also want to hear about the ten million dollars you embezzled with your friend. That's right. I've got eyes and ears everywhere. That sounded weird, but you know what I mean. I have no idea what you're talking about. I think you do. This is far from over. 